Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, first of all, never mind the mess. We're doing a once a month grocery haul. And it's bigger than it's ever been. And there are lots of things and Christmas presents and lots of things and too many things. And we were out of all the things and all the things and we're buying all the things. My hair is all the things. And if you are not new here, let me tell you about all the things <laughs> that uh, we have going on. So we have a crazy dog, myself, our five-year-old, our two-year-old, my husband, my husband works crazy hours. I work, I stay home part of the time, but I'm also a pre-nursing student. So yes, life is busy, life is chaotic. I've done some monthly hauls lately, but really they've just been, well, we've got to go to Sam's. This is going to be my monthly haul, you know, a few hundred dollars here. Uh, this was not that way because we are out of everything and I don't normally spend this much, but we are out of everything. And thankfully we ran into some gift cards for Sam's Club. So we're using those. We also had to get some Christmas presents. Uh, we also treated ourselves to a Christmas present. I'll pop that in here. Oh, and one other one that I treated myself to as well. Put that in here. And then, let me just go ahead and tell you there are two Christmas presents that are hidden away. Let me put in pictures of those here. Here. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way because those things are hidden, um, and then the pots and pans and the, um, whatever that thing is called, the Dutch oven. Those are already washed and put away in my cabinets. But everything else that you see is from Sam's Club, Walmart grocery pickup, Kroger, and Aldi. If you have never been um, and done a Walmart grocery pickup order, I'll put that link down below for you. $10 off for you, off your first $50 order. $10 off for me. Uh, there's also an Ibotta code that will get you $10 in addition to whatever your first rebate is when you redeem your first rebate if you've never signed up for Ibotta. Check that out down below. I greatly appreciate it. Um, because I say that because Ibotta alone, I got back $23. So, or $22. So, it, it adds up. Now, that is in comparison to the price. Yeah, no, it's it's not that big of a percentage. However, every little bit counts and I'll take it. So, let's just dive right in. My house is a disaster. The dog is being crazy. The kids are asleep, thankfully, but yes, let's dive in. Okay, so let's start over here with this crazy stuff that wouldn't even fit anywhere near my table. But here we go. I don't know. Looks like someone spilt something back there. But anyways, 57 pound bag of dog food, $20.97 from Sam's. Disinfecting wipes. These ended up being $6.98 when you bought four of the members mark items. So grab those. These ended up being about $11, I think, or $12. But they're the bigger boxes than you get at the regular store. Excuse me, of the Puffs Plus lotion. So they were worth it. And normally I will buy like Aldi brand, Walmart brand, Kroger brand. Whatever. I mean, I'll buy them. We kind of grumble about it after I buy them. But I'll buy them just to keep on hand. But this time of year, no way, no how. <laughs> we are buying the Real Deal Puffs name brand. It's happening because they're on sale. They're bigger. My rule is 99 cents or less a box. Really, I like to pay 50 cents or less a box. However, these ended up being just like $1.15 or $1.20 a box. And with that... Um, it's the name brand, first of all, because like the Walmart brand, they're like 97 cents or 98 cents. So, and this is a bigger box. So it ended up being a really good deal anyways. Those also qualify towards the Saving Star rebate, where if you spend $50 in, uh, and it doesn't have to be in one transaction. But if you spend $50 in Procter & Gamble products, you get... $15 back. So that'll count towards that. And, and after I, after this haul, I'm almost to $50. $16.48 for after the 
$2 discount for the Members Mark Paper Towels. These are my favorite. We have had to buy other ones and I don't like them. These are my favorite. Bath Tissue, Members Mark, Ultra Premium, Ultra Soft, whatever. 45 rolls. They were $16.46 after that $2 off. Um, oh, actually, I don't think the... Were the paper towels included? I don't even remember now. I don't even know, y'all. I don't know. Okay. No, they weren't. Paper towels weren't included. They were $16.48 on their own. It was the Members Mark disinfecting wipes, the bath tissue, this laundry detergent, and those flushable wipes. Yes, I know they're not truly flushable before everybody freaks out. I appreciate it if, you, if you're just sharing, but some people will get really passionate. Okay. Um, 11... $11 and some change for their Members Mark version of the Tide Sport. What is my dog? My dog is literally chasing her tail around the room. Sorry if that's loud. Cascade, this is the 105 count. They were $12.98. Again, counts towards that Saving Star rebate. Oh, and these are on uh, the uh, Members Mark laundry detergent, the bath tissue, the paper towels, and something else. Oh, the rotisserie chicken and the block of cheese all counted towards Ibotta. Okay, flushable wipes ended up being about $10 for the box, or maybe $8, $10, $8, no, I don't remember. Um, Pampers wipes, $18.78, and there's almost a thousand in there, $936. So there's all that big, even bulkier stuff. <laughs> um, I wish I would have taken pictures of the buggies carts where shopping carts whatever you like to trolleys whatever you like to call them depending on where you're from we call them buggies here in tennessee um you should have seen us trying to push two buggies even that was ridiculous to try to contain this stuff from sam's club but anyways four cases of water um my five pound bag of gala apples was 382 so that was amazing it's less than a dollar a pound um i'm a little bummed because it looks like one of our Apples got damaged on the way home. It'll be all right. 10 pound bag of yellow potatoes was just under $5 a bag. $6.97 for the 15 pound bag of russet potatoes. Baking potatoes, those things are massive. We'll have to cut those in half um, for each of us. Or like just the potato would be dinner with some meat or something, whatever on it, broccoli, something like that. Uh, 10 pound bag of yellow onions was also just under $5. Three pounds of bananas was $1.27. These are from Aldi. It's a three pound bag of Granny Smith apples. They were $1.65. Okay, and now I'm realizing that there are some frozen items still in my freezer from where I had to put the stuff away during nap time and uh, I'll ha I have no room to pull that out. So <laughs> I guess I'll be showing you that in a minute. Okay, ignore the bags and ignore the laundry. This is real life. King's Wine Rolls were just under $6 for those two jumbo packs at Sam's. We got their mini sub rolls for $6.98. I will freeze those into portion bags because there's way too many of them for us to eat, obviously, before they go bad. So I'll actually... Okay. Joys of bouncy balls. The dog loved it, but she's going to end up chewing it up. Anyways, I will portion those out into freezer bags, put them in the freezer so we can just pull some out each week that we want sandwiches. And two loaves of the cinnamon swirl bread from Aldi, $1.79 a, a package. I'll, ta I'll leave one out, put one in the freezer. $0.85 cents for hamburger buns from Aldi, $0.99 cents for the tortillas, flour tortillas from Aldi, and $0.85 cents for some white sandwich bread from Aldi. Okay. Let me go down to this end, and then we'll work our way that way. So, I got two of these jammies for $7.44 a piece. The um, air filters, we just needed one, but the Walmart grocery pickup, this was one of their substitutions. And these were just $4 and something. They didn't have the single pack of the lower filtration level that I ordered. So they gave us the two pack of this allergen defense for the same $4 and some change. So that was excellent. Um, Crayola, they substituted our construction paper. I just ordered whatever off brand it was for $2.27 and they put in the Crayola one to substitute it, so that'll be totally fine. Sorry, I'm keeping an eye out on that dog. Um, these are some items that are for Christmas or just for crafting that are obviously not grocery. 
as you all probably know if you've seen my other videos, we are preparing for my daughter to have surgery. So I grabbed a little Paw Patrol play pack for 97 cents from Walmart. This glitter glue for uh, part of a Christmas craft present for my five-year-old. It's $1.27 for the 10 pack. I ordered the like rainbow colored. They had the metallic, so they substituted, totally fine. Uh, 97 cents for some paint brushes because I got her some watercolors already to go in her stuff and her stockings. Um, we needed some zip ties. I don't know. I ordered the 99 cent pack of zip ties. Apparently they didn't have the particular pack I ordered, so they gave me these. Whatever, I don't care. Um, <laughs> four packs of these two packs of pot holders for 97 cents a piece. Those are for Christmas craft projects. $7.97 from Sam's Club for these Febreze Gain Scented Heavy Duty Ow! Car Air Fresheners. Okay. Now that I've smashed my toe considerably. All right. Then these, these are like the dot markers. These are also part of Christmas presents. They were $5.97 from Walmart. Uh, $5.18 for some children's allergy relief liquid. Six something 692 694 for the two pack of the chewable ibuprofen that is for me not the girls two king size heat bars these are totally smashed but it's fine i was going to chop them up for a heath bar cake anyways so that'll be fine and they were a dollar something a piece a dollar for some trident gum from kroger and then a dollar 50 after my 50 cent off coupon for these kroger brand smaller the eight and a half inch plates and then the 10 inch plates were $2 or $1.99. Okay. Now, y'all, this is a lot of stuff. Okay. Five packages of the Huggies wipes, even though we got wipes at Sam's, these were also part of a good sale. You could buy up to five at Kroger. So I grabbed them for 99 cents a piece. So that worked out well. $1.49 at Kroger for these crock pot liners as part of the mega event. These snuggle products, if you can't, you can't really see, you can see the pink lid there. There's some fabric softeners, some dryer sheets, and then these scent shakes, beads, all the same snuggle scent. We're going to try these. Um, and they were 99 cents a piece after coupons and the mega event. Um, $19.45 for the Digestive Advantage Probiotic Gummies. Those are from Sam's Club. From Walmart. There it goes. It's like a domino effect, y'all. It's all going to start coming down, I'm telling you. Uh, $10.99 for the Aldi brand diapers, size 5, 72 count. You cannot beat that. They are awesome. Even with couponing, um, it's getting increasingly difficult to get quality diapers. In my opinion, which are Pampers or Huggies, I don't like, I don't care for loves. Those are not my favorite. Um, but these Aldi ones are amazing. $10.99 for that case. We do still have about half a case of diapers. And then the, and that is for my two-year-old, um, who hopefully is potty training soon, fingers crossed, after her surgery. So, there you go. Uh, Sundown Naturals Kids Vitamins. Again, substitution from Walmart Grocery Pickup. They were $9.97. I ordered just like the Disney Princess ones, but they gave me the Frozen, which of course they'll be ecstatic about anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, if you can see here, I got two a salt and pepper shaker set. They were $0.97 cents a piece. We needed a shower curtain liner for $2 and some change. Irish Spring. I ordered the Irish Spring charcoal, whatever that new one is. Eight bar pack. They didn't have that, so they just substituted the regular Irish Spring. That'll work. My husband likes that one anyway, so it'll work. We got the Kaboom, Kaboom Foaming Bathroom Cleaner. I don't really love a ton of chemicals. However, we have super hard water and... This Kaboom with the OxyClean is the only thing so far that is getting it off. Um, double zipper freezer quart bags. The, I believe there's 40 in there. Dollar for the, which were $1.92 or something like that. The aluminum foil is 180 square feet. I ordered like the 75 square feet for a dollar and some change. It was less than $2. They substituted the 180 square feet and I paid the same price. So that was excellent. Behind there, you can also see the 60 count mega pack of the double zipper freezer bags. I paid like $1.92 for those because I ordered the 30 count. Well, they didn't have them, so they gave me the 60 count for the same price. 
So these substitutions are all awesome this time. Oh, I also forgot to mention, you also want to check out I bought it even if you don't go in store. If you only use like Walmart grocery pickup, you can get $3 off your pickup. You can just get a $3 rebate for just doing a Walmart grocery pickup. And I've used it multiple times. So I did get $3 from that as well. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, stay free. Those were free after the mega event at Kroger with a $3 off coupon. Um, the baby food pouches ended up being about 69 cents a piece with the mega event and a coupon. Uh, two of the milk bone brushing chews, large six counts were $3.94 a piece. We got a big old beef knuckle dog bone for the dog. Three loofahs were a dollar a piece at Kroger. And then, and I know you can get them a little cheaper, like two packs for a dollar at Walmart, but I particularly like the ones with the suction cup and we all know our color and it's just convenient. Um, also for $1.27 a piece, I got three cake, round cake pans because I don't have them and I need them for um, one of the cakes I'm making for Thanksgiving. Two twenty-seven dollars for some almond bark vanilla. We're gonna make uh, some treats with that in the upcoming weeks before we get to Christmas. We wanted some mini frosted donuts. Those were just under $2. Um, 87 cents or something like that at Walmart for the mini marshmallows, $2 and some change for the mini M&Ms, um, that's for baking and, um, Christmas treats. Again, same thing with the Rice Krispies or, or with the marshmallows, we're going to use those to make Rice Krispie treats. I don't know why I'm holding on to those. Let me set those down. Okay. We also grabbed from Sam's Club, their classic Caesar salad kit, $2 and some change. 4.45 for the six count of green bell peppers from Sam's. So those are really good. We'll definitely go through those. Six creamy chicken ramen, four beef, and two soy sauce flavored. I swear that used to call be called Oriental flavored. Maybe I'm going crazy. Those are like 19 cents a piece. That's an easy lunch just to keep on hand. We don't eat it every day. But it's delicious, and my husband and my kids like it, so yeah, they will on occasion split those. Two Mio sweet tea for my husband. Those were like three sixty nine a piece. We grabbed the confectioner sugar at Aldi for ninety seven or ninety nine cents for a two pound package. That's for the cake and icing and some other treats. Dollar fifty nine a piece. For the fruit cups, we got a cherry mixed fruit and 100% juice and a mandarin orange and 100% juice. Um, and those are from Aldi. Back here, the 48 count of Kroger 100% Colombian K cups, $14.99. $9.48 for the Pirate Spooty 36 bags. We got lots of beans. We got light red kidney beans, dark red kidney beans, black beans, pinto, pinto beans, chili beans. All of those were $0.49 cents a can at Walmart. A dollar for the baking powder because I don't have any. 49 cents for the beef broth as part of the mega event. I needed a filler item and we'll use it. And that was at Kroger. Crisco, the sticks. Yes, it's cheaper to buy the big old tub, but I like the sticks. So I bought the sticks. And that lasts us forever because we don't want use a lot of Crisco. It's three dollars and some change at Walmart. Cake mix is there that you can barely see. Betty Crocker, part of the mega event at Kroger. 79 cents piece, so I grabbed two spice cake, one yellow cake. That'll be for cookies and uh, pumpkin muffins. Back here you can't hardly see as well, but it's the Campbell's cream of chicken. I grabbed two more of those as part of the mega event at Kroger, 49 cents piece. Worcestershire from um, Great Value from Walmart for a dollar. A dollar 18 for their unbleached all purpose flour from Walmart. I love that stuff. Um, 86 cents a piece for the Cotton Country Cornbread mix, the Martha White Chocolate Chip Muffin Mix, and a Lemon Poppy Seed Muffin Mix. Also, about a dollar, Roasted Garlic and Parmesan Baby Red Mashed Potatoes. These are great in a pinch. We'll keep those on hand. Although you saw all the potatoes, clearly we're going to be making homemade for a while. Uh, Buttermilk Pancake Mix at Aldi was like $1.49. $2.99 for their Protein Pancake Mix. The girls really enjoy the Velveeta cheese sauce at Walmart. We needed that for uh, my baked macaroni and cheese recipes coming up for Thanksgiving and Christmas. 
That was $2.27. The four pack of Kroger brand ranch seasoning packets was $1.39 for four packets. Two great value brand Fajita seasonings, 60 cents a piece. You can make your own, but um, we're not today. So that's what I'm saying about that. Olive oil from Aldi. They didn't have the one that I normally buy in the glass bottle. So we'll just take that one for $2.49. 39 cents a can for three cans of tomato paste. Four cans of the small tomato sauces. 25 cents a piece. A can of corn for 49 cents. 95 cents for some cumin. And 89 cents a piece for the Aldi brand Friendly Farm Sour Cream. Grab a few of those. Those are mainly for recipes and taco night. Rotisserie chicken was also on Ibotta at Sam's Club. Dollar off rebate and then you also they were $4.98 at Sam's. 99 cents for some baby carrots at Kroger. Three English cucumbers from all uh Walmart. No, I'm sorry. Sam's Club and they were $3.13 for the three of them. Four dollars and some change for three three pounds. Yeah. Three pounds of redly seed red seedless grapes at Sam's Club. Toaster tarts. We have pop tarts, but the girls aren't really digging those flavors that I got on sale. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll pop up my Aldi and Kroger haul from after Halloween. They're not really digging those flavors, um, but you can check out that haul to find out what I'm talking about. So I'll link that for you. Um, three of their buttermilk, buttermilk ranch from Aldi, 89 cents. One Italian dressing, 89 cents as well. We really, really, really like the Aldi brand um, salad dressings, and I use the Italian for marinade. 99 cents for the six pack of raisins, $1.25 for the cinnamon graham crackers, $1.19 for honey buns, the big one pound package of Jack Link's original beef jerky was $12.96, I believe, $4.28 for that big old I don't even know. It's like two and a half pounds, three pounds of Virginia peanuts and sea salt for snacking. Nature's Bakery Fig Bar, $7.88. $1.89 for the Clancy's, that is the Aldi brand veggie straws. Fruit rounds and Honey Nut Cheerios from Aldi. Those are about $1.25 a box. Also, let's see if I can even get to it. I don't know. Ah! I don't know if I can without knocking everything else off. Okay, back there, you can see that big old shiny can on the bottom. That is a number 10 can of the Allen's Italian cut green beans that I will put in my crock pot with a ham hock or two <laughs> for um, Thanksgiving. And then just a 12 pack of regular smaller, like 15 ounce cans of green beans, the Members Mark brand. And that was $5.96, so made on a little less than 50 cents a can. And a gallon of whole milk back there from um, Kroger, $2.99. $2.57 for the Milo's tea. The three almond milks, two unsweetened vanilla, and one chocolate. Those were $1.79 at Aldi. $10.78 for that big old box of individual Cheez-Its in there, 45 count. And then the pub mix, snacking mix from Sam's Club was $6.98, I believe. Okay, lots of chips, but this will last us a really long time. Plus we have guests coming. So we got Fritos for taco soup, chili, all the things, dips, whatever. Doritos, those are $3.49 a bag at Sam's Club. And then at Kroger, they have their Tostitos, $1.49 today. Excuse me, with a coupon. So they ended up being $1.49. Grabbed the lime and then just the restaurant style. Excuse me. Two of their Aldi brand saltines, 75 cents a box. Four boxes of the unsweetened applesauce pouches. I think one of those is apple cinnamon as well because they didn't have them. Four boxes of fruit and grain bars. We got two apple cinnamon, one mixed berry, one blueberry. They were $1.35 a box. The applesauce pouches are $1.49 a box. I ended up paying a dollar after an e-coupon and a sale for the classic ripple ripples potato chips from Kroger 
$1.85 a bottle for the vegetable oil from Aldi. $1.35 for their big old thing of ketchup, and we really enjoy that ketchup. $1.89 or $1.85 for their mayonnaise. To me, that is just like Hellman's, so or best foods, depending on where you live. So really, we really enjoy that. Blueberries were just under $5 for the 18 ounce, and they look really good from Sam's. So we grabbed those. We got a pound of this boar's head. Um, it was on sale for $6.99 a pound, and it's like a carved turkey. It's supposed to taste like, I guess, like Thanksgiving turkey. That was really, really good. She gave me a sample. So we did get a pound of that for sandwiches this weekend and this week. And then $1.79 for the Kroger brand pie crust, which I was kicking myself because that's a two pack and they had six packs of the Pillsbury brand for less than $6 at Sam's Club. And I'm really kicking myself. If I'd have known that, I would have gotten it there because we'll definitely need more than just the one pack. But anyways, two of these lunch maker bologna, whatever junk, but it makes my daughter happy on her Monday lunches. 88 cents package at... Kroger. $1.45 for some great value brand American Singles. $1.78 or 89 something like that for the Baby Swiss Slices and Sharp Cheddar Slices. $3 and something at Walmart Grocery Pickup for the three or the six pack of Pepsis. And then $1.49 as part of the mega event for the Kroger French Onion Sour Cream Dip. We are, we still have like half of one of these left, but when it's on sale like that, I stock up. Or I don't stock up, but I go ahead and buy one even if we have some. Uh, the Wright brand bacon at Sam's Club. These are four and a half pound packages, and they ended up being just over $14, so I grabbed two. We'll pull these apart, put one half a package in the fridge, and the other three portions in the freezer. Four pounds of butter because at Aldi they were $1.99 a pound. So I grabbed that four of those. $5.98 for this yellow, extra sharp yellow cheddar cheese, two pound block. $5.98 at Sam's, which is a really good uh, deal. We'll make our own cheese sticks out of that um, and snack on that. We may, we don't really need any shredded cheese, but if we did, we could use it for that too. But this was also a dollar off on Ibotta. The Simply Lemonade two packs were $3.98 for the two pack at Sam's. Then these were $2.96 or $2.97 for the 16 ounce one pound bags of shredded cheese from Walmart. So I got three sharp cheddar and two Fiesta blend. Um, and we'll put some of those in the, we'll put one of each in the fridge and the rest in the freezer. And then there's gonna be lots of freezer meals out of all of this. So a lot of that can go in there too. Two heavy whipping cream, they were about $1.65 a piece at Walmart. Two 18 count eggs, they were $1.09 a piece. Um, 70 cents for some cream cheese. Now, this last little bit here before I pull out my frozen stuff is we got the 90-10 ground beef, and I can't even tell how many pounds that is, but both packages were just over $11. Then we got some pork chops, about $6 for the package of, it was about five seventy eight actually, I think, for the... $1.65 a pound pork chops. They're boneless pork chops. We got some Angus beef uh, strip steaks. The sole package, so there's four big steaks in there and they were $16.99, but they were on sale for $6.99 a pound, which was amazing. So I'll fillet those in half and then marinate them and put them in the freezer. Four packages of their uh, members marks, Sam's Club, whatever, Chicken breast, each package was about $11, so that'll be quite a bit of chicken. One whole package will go into homemade fried chicken tenders that we'll have for dinner, then for lunch the next day, and then the rest will go in the freezer. All right, so that is all of this. Let me put this cold stuff up and grab the frozen stuff out for you, and I'll show you that here at the end. Okay, here's the last of it, frozen stuff. Chocolate chip waffles, great value brand. We're going to try those. Normally I would buy Eggo, but these are like two something for 24. So grab those. $3.55. Sorry, I'm out of breath. $3.55 for the Aldi brand chicken nuggets. These are really, really good. Um, 
$1.68 for the deli style potato wedges. Two pound bag from Great Value at Walmart, $1.68. Three pound bag of the Southern style chicken bites from Members Mart from Sam's Club. They were $9.98. These are very similar to Chick-fil-A. They're not a dead ringer, but they're good. They have that pickle flavor and they're pretty good in the air fryer. Six of these beef and bean green chili burritos from Tina's brand. They ended up being like 39 cents a burrito. My husband tried them a couple of times before. And doing the math, that's about what it would cost me to make them. And he really likes them. So I just bought them. Um, great value brand, cookie dipped ice cream cones. Those look pretty good. $4 and some change. And I think there's, how many is in there? Eight, 10. I don't know. Mm -mm, I don't know. Six, eight, ten, something like that. Those. Jimmy Dean fully cooked sausage patties, the 24 count, $6.98. Two of the Aldi brand packages for $2.95 a piece of the sausage, egg, and cheese croissant sandwiches. There's four in each box. And so my husband likes those. Again, I'll be making some freezer breakfast meals. However, those are easy. He does like them. So we got them. Golden Crinkles, this is an eight pound bag for like $6.78. Um, and I got 25 cent off of any frozen potato from Ibotta. So I'll take it. And then $5.72 for the 30 count Sister Schubert's dinner yeast rolls. Those will be for Thanksgiving meals. So I'll definitely stash those away in my freezer. And that's a great deal because I saw like 15 count rolls, I think, or 18 count rolls for the same price at Walmart but you get 30 for less than $6 at Sam's. That's everything other than those few pictures I popped in for you. Um, but that's everything that we picked up. I don't even know the total. I'll have to put that either on the thumbnail or in the description for you because we had those gift cards and the whole budget was crazy. Like I said, some of this is Christmas. Some of this is a ton of household stuff. Now you see, in the title, once a month grocery haul. So you sure. see in the title, once a month grocery haul. But understand, if you are new here, this stuff lasts way more than a month. We don't consume all this junk in a week or even a month. There's lots and lots of household stuff that will last three, four months. There's just lots of stuff here. We will go through the produce. We will go through the milk. I will have to buy more of that. But the rest of this, all the meat, and all of the package stuff, household stuff, will last us through the end of the year um, and into January for lots of household things. Um, and then also keep in mind that I have to provide snack for my daughter's kindergarten class once a month for the whole class. So, like, that whole package of fig bars, all of those would be gone because I would send that box if I did that. So, um, yeah. That's the whole deal. So lots of freezer meals though with this stuff. Lots of freezer prepping, like I'm gonna make shredded chicken, taco chicken meat, uh, or chicken taco meat, beef taco meat, cooked ground beef. Gonna make some, like I said, the freezer meals, some breakfast freezer meals, some snacks. Um, also going to, what else? Um, oh, we have Thanksgiving, we're hosting with family. Um, oh, the other thing not pictured in here are two seven, no, two 14 pound ish, thir between 13 and 15 pounds, depending on the turkey. Um, turkeys, I got two of those um, for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I think that's everything. Oh, and then like I said, we'll be feeding lots of people for Thanksgiving and then Christmas as well. And then we're home for all three meals as well. So um, other than my daughter, but I pack her lunch. So she's still technically here for all her meals. Um, that's everything. Leave me down below what you're making for Thanksgiving. I would love to know. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Please hit that subscribe button and stick around. We'd love to have you join our family. Never mind that mess back there. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.